In 2000, there was actually several car manufacturers making electric vehicles. This happens to be a Ford Ranger that came from the factory as electric, as you can see here. It's just one of the charging ports. Plug and play. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this was built on the 4x4 chassis for Ford. Um, they actually used a uh, electric motor between the, uh, rear, the rear wheels. It's like a transaxle electric drive. And there's a controller up front and a battery pack underneath. And what we've done is we've set this guy up to actually pull, drop the battery pack out from underneath it. It comes out from the bottom. And we're going to crack it open and see what kind of batteries are in there. Yeah. Somebody killed the pack, didn't keep it charged. So we're going to bring it back to life. Come on back, we'll show you this thing. So Ford did an awesome job building the battery pack right here. It's fiberglass construction, you know, nicely tight and sealed. Got one connection right here in the back that all we got to do is pull. And then we got six bolts. We can just drop this thing right out of here. Do -do 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 Okay, so here we are. This is the battery pack that exists in this vehicle. Now look, this is what we could go through. This is filled with lead acid. Now if you come over here, this is a brand new lithium pack that's going in the Mini. But yeah, just a couple more of these, and it'll power that truck like nobody's business. So we could go from this to this. This is how far technology has come in what? 10 years? Yeah, ten, uh, yeah, 10 years. So, there you have it. 